Look, Look at, at that. that. <laughs> I wow, hope the door what? falls off. <laughs> I think he just <laughs> did. Oh, I don't know if you want to go in there, Bob. I don't think the inside's going to look oh. good. Oh, oh, someone door peed door on the walls. Door in the living room. He's got about a 20 by 10 foot wide living room. How do you know? Look at how ugly this is. And, and he said it was beautiful. Yeah, he did. Paper's probably been here since the house was built, and it looks pretty grungy. But the walls are solid wow. Well, so does your outfit, Bob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at his boots. puffy well, coat. Shape, need his boots got cramp on it the second he stepped in that stupid car. <laughs> Bob's coming out of the cloud. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> the yellow vest explains it all. <laughs> The first room we come Look at that bathroom. The first room. This is the second room, Bob. So he got he got Alzheimer's at an early age, I guess. Yes, from Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Don't get caught in the corner, Bob. He's <laughs> showing off his sweater. <laughs> is he playing of the yellow one? Yes. The only bathroom in the house. Oh. Is he, look at that. Look at that toilet. Look how close this is the bathtub. <laughs> yes. So, so if you slip just an inch, you could be shitting in the bathtub. You know, it's a possibility. You gotta think twice before you would, who you would invite into that bathroom. I think they put new fittings in here. I don't think Rosie O'Donnell could fit in that bathroom. <laughs> I don't think Artie Lang could either. Nice wide, comfortable staircase leading right from that. How is it? Is it a wide, comfortable staircase? <laughs> it doesn't look that wide. You, you, well, it leads to the parlor of boredom. <laughs> What the hell is all that? Poker chips. <laughs> Why are the poker chips in them? Yeah, that's, his, that's where he keeps his poker chips. Yeah. the basement, we have a 275-gallon oil tank. This house has always been heated by oil. Oh, oh is that what the, is that what the oil tank is? That, that it's heated by oil? It's fueled by a kid's face that has a cute chimney stack. Well, what did he say? He sees a cute chimney stack. From... Oh, well, let me guess. That's the hot water tank, and that's where you heat up your water? Yeah, he's about to take this this boiler on a date. <laughs> oh, no. Even though it's in bad condition. But Bob, Bob likes a fixer-upper. Bob's got a garden. What is he going to plant there? Mandragoras. Yeah. I can't wait to see the garage. Ew! Oh, wow. <laughs> what the hell is this? It looks oh, like wow. one of Bob's turds. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> oh, I bet he likes it. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> Look how he's pointing to everything. Uh, a man-made board material on the inside. Yeah, this is, must have a man-made board. A man-made board, board. <laughs> yes. Board what if a woman here. made that? And it's electrified. <laughs> it's got a good overhead door. It's definitely an asset. Many of the houses... More like an ass set. Yeah, oh, for sure. Set of ass. And the two family cars sleep outside. But anyway... Sleep? This is what you get for sixty-five thousand. they get a full eight hours every night. Sixty-five grand for that? Yeah, and this is back in the day. Yeah, right. The great Bigelow, Bigelow house. Here we go with Camp Sagamore. <laughs> now we got now we got the Bigelow house. What we're gonna do? What the cutoff is? And how much of the work I'm gonna do, or the oh, you're gonna do nothing. You're gonna have Riley do it. Now he's doing drive-bys. Yes. He's looking at the neighborhood. Stop <laughs> filming people's houses, Bob. Look how much wood he needs. Yes. What does he not? It's all he's got is a fireplace in there. Yes. Or is he in a? Okay. Well, he's, he's got. He's got the corny electronic organ. He's got really terrible art too. Yeah, we do. Wow. So would you really do everything in here yourself? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Is that avocado and yellow? It is. Oh, but it's made out of actual yeah. avocado skin. <laughs> <laughs> Look at avocado with a yellow seat. That is gross. He's bragging about doing the work himself. What did he do? With a pink ceiling. <laughs> or is that the camera? <laughs> nope, I'm going to say that's a pink ceiling. Just look at the guy. <laughs> This guy's bragging about his work? Or maybe Bob has a... <laughs> I don't, why would you... Why 
Why would you brag about that? Did you do this yourself? Well, Bob's bragging about his VHS deck, too, because it adds pink on the top. He's bragging about his, his car that's still falling apart from the top. <laughs> What is this guy bragging about? <laughs> his his shitty work in his bathroom. <laughs> and his shirt. <laughs> Why would you brag about that? It is horrible art. Look where the phone was. The corny canopy. Yes. The awning made out of Legos. <laughs> Why bother? I thought he was going to step on that at first. <laughs> I thought he was going to be dead. That's why I had to be replaced. Oh, that's really realistic, though. That is what the house looked like. There was nothing in it. <laughs> yeah. That is realistic. Except for oh, some shitty bad. Wait till he leaves it out. There's going to be mice living in it. One with a door was, one with a picture window is. Not too big, so that we don't lose too much energy. So we don't have to worry about energy yet. So, if he's not. What, did he go for a door? run or a jog and he yes. used up all his energy? He did. So how the heck is he getting in the house if there's no door? <laughs> That's a great question. I think he climbs through the window. <laughs> it was a Bob design. <laughs> did you just see him? No doors. <laughs> Only window. Welcome to our house. Oh, I forgot the door here. <laughs> they have to climb through the window. Open space over here for a breakfast table. <laughs> For breakfast. What if you want a dinner? Yeah, or lunch. Yeah. Or brunch. I don't like the design of that house. That's a, that's, that's a fire hazard right there. <laughs> you have no way to get out. You have one to zigzag. <laughs> oh, what does he have instead of the picture window? He has a really ugly picture. What's a picture of the boiler? Yes. Isn't it beautiful? He's talking about traffic. Who wants traffic in that place? Look at those tight spaces. He's going to have to get the stop signs and traffic lights. Well, John Goodman's sure not going to buy that house. <laughs> oh, you're figuring the, the garage there, Bob. Oh, no. Place the window that's there with a big picture window down to the floor. And then I've got to connect this to the existing house. This is horrible. We'll turn that window into a walkway, into a big doorway, okay? And we're going to build new construction. We'll go on Why, later. Bob? A room that will be 12 by 12 feet square, and which will serve as the new... Where are you going to put your car? As well as the connecting structure. Oh, the truck will fall apart if it touches into the into piece of that garage. and dining room right over here. Now, when we put our roof back on... The roof? ...that it's going to look kind of pleasant. And you'll notice that we've done this side of the roof in black to signify that it will be glass. Because this transition building is going to be basically... Great, so it's going to leak. It's going to get all that southern light in from the wall and from the ceiling to make it a very attractive space. The last thing we've got to do is reorient this kitchen entry. And in order to do that, what I want to do is just rebuild it, move the steps around to the back, and then screen it so that when a visitor drives up here, he doesn't look at that directly, but his eye is pointed towards the new door. That's stupid. Right in that location. Now, Why have two entry is, points so close to each other? What's the purpose of that? Just That's get, a big safety hazard. What well, if the fire's on that side of the house and you can't get out there? Norm and here's what he had to That's say. true. Well, Bob, there's oh. no way. Oh, oh it's Norm Abram. For the twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars that you've budgeted. No way, no way. I knew you were going to say that. But there is a way oh, I'm glad that the, these busting Bob's balls. <laughs> Did you see that? He said he's not going to have enough money to do all this. Norm is destroying him. No wonder why they don't get along. <laughs> he's just making fun of them. <laughs> Oh, you can't do something. I'm going to have to hire a subcontractor. Pay him, his men, for his equipment to haul it away. Just go home, Bob. Rent that electric jackhammer, spend the Saturday, break it up, maybe find out from one of the neighbors if there's a contractor around here who has a dump truck. Have him park it in the yard on Saturday afternoon, load it in, he'll take it away Monday. Save yourself a lot of money. Good exercise, too. But there are certain things that you are going to have to have bring people in to do, and one is the transition between the 
Why bother connecting the garage to the house? You're not gonna do anything, Bob. Yes, let's have some much floor for a living. With oil stains on. I wish he'd make fun of Bob's car. Look at Bob. He's he's getting he's getting pissed. He is. I think this is why he didn't have Norm on his stupid show. Look, look at the look at the stare that Bob has. <laughs> You can't move them up another foot. It won't affect it structurally at all. Okay. It'll give you a little... Okay. Oh, that might look interesting. That might, yeah, that'll yeah. be an interesting touch. This is where I'm going to have my patio doors. And just and about ten minutes ago, he was saying how great it was to have those beams up there. Yes, yes. Here's the man-made wood. <laughs> I'm sorry, the man-made board. I'm sure he was thinking that, though. Man-made wood. Oh, he's, get, he's getting mad. I've got to do it all myself. The more you do, the less it's going to cost. All right. Thanks, Norm. Shouldn't he know that? He really should. But do tune in again next week when we'll be starting construction of the transition building, knocking down walls in there, pulling our hair out, wondering whether we can do it all for twenty thousand dollars. Until next week, I'm Bob Vila for this old house. Wow, Bob! The foundation of this old house is made possible by Warehouser. No wonder they made him get it his own show. Services and other products that help Americans live better. And this was made on an Apple II. <laughs> yeah, with silicon graphics. Warehouser. <laughs> Warehouser, my favorite brand. Margot Garrison. There's wonderful audio. Wow, 81. <laughs> and there's Bob's brain separating <laughs> from his head. This broadcast was made possible by NASA Traffic Lumber with six <laughs> PBS pumping bullshit. <laughs> So what did we learn? That that do his tailboy his job. <laughs> Norm Abrams made fun of him. And that Bob keeps claiming that he's going to have to do work even when he's not going to lift a finger. <laughs> yes. He found a new lover, the boiler. <laughs> he's going to be obsessed with that boiler all month long. The hot water tank turned him down. Oh. That's Wait, the, the boiler or the or the, uh, the oil tank? <laughs> well, he may go to the oil tank if the, if he gets rejected by the boiler. I like how he, how he mentioned the oil tank. And he says, see, this how it he heats itself with oil. Oh, thanks, Bob. <laughs> and thanks, then he Bob. wants to design a house where it's got all the entrances in one spot next to each other. Yeah, that's a big fire hazard, guys. Well, let's see. I got one room here. Which door should I go in? A, B, or, or D? Or D. Yeah, you didn't even... You forgot C, Bob. <laughs> the guy who bragged oh, about, about doing the work himself. With the avocado and, yes. and yellow. And he was proud of that. <laughs> he was proud of that. He has to look at that every oh, day. You did all the work yourself? Do you really want to brag about that, Bob? <laughs> so there's another Bob Vila. And please comment. And, and please like... subscribe.